And some terrifying moments in the sky when a plane caught on fire. Video shows flames shooting out from one of the engines, forcing the plane to head back here to Houston. ABC 13's Luke Jones is at Bush Airport where the plane made its emergency landing. What happened exactly here, Luke? Well, first, there were 167 people on board that flight, and since then, the plane's been out of service, but that's changing tomorrow morning. It's actually heading back to Florida, the same place it was going when it caught on fire. After watching the sparks fly at his best friend's wedding in Mexico, David Gruninger and 15 of his friends catch some flames on their connecting flight home through Houston Monday. They're shooting out of the engine of this Boeing 737. How soon do you realize we're in trouble? I remember there was just this bright flashing light that came through the window and it sounded like a bomb went off. And then it was just a strobe um, of fire out the window. Flight aware data shows the Fort Myers bound flight taking off from Bush Airport at 6.40 p.m. It scarcely left the Houston area when it turns around 12 minutes later. The plane was nose diving and the uh, uh, pilot was bringing the plane back up. The plane was also rocking back and forth a lot. And then it just turned into chaos. People were screaming and crying and trying to figure out what was going on. Radio transmissions from that nightmarish night shed some light. It was our left engine, our number one engine uh, that was surging when we were climbing through about 10,000. And uh, quite attended some momentary claims back there. I think it's fair to say we all thought we were going to die. So sure of that was Elliot Trexler. He sent a goodbye email to his wife. Well, that said, I love you, and you should feel free to move on. The plane lands at Bush at 7.13, 33 minutes after taking off. And it was a very turbulent ride back, and it was a pretty harsh landing. Ever been on a plane before where anything like this has happened? Man, I, I don't ever want to experience that again. This is something I'll remember every time I get on a flight now. And a few hours after landing here at Bush, once again, United put those travelers on another plane bound for Florida. We know by looking at emails from United to one of the passengers, they were offered a $200 flight credit and a $15 meal voucher. Live at Bush tonight, Luke Jones, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.